question that I get asked quite often in class is, does my simple faith in God make me a Christian? Is all there is to Christianity just believing in God? You know, in poll after poll, the people of America overwhelmingly believe in the existence of God. Some have it as high as 81%. Does this mean that 81% of America is Christian? No, for the simple reason that belief in God does not equal Christianity. St. Irenaeus of Lyon, an early church father, addresses this very question in his demonstration of the apostolic preaching. St. Irenaeus was born in Smyrna around the year 130. He learned and was baptized by St. Polycarp, a disciple of the apostle John the theologian. By his close connection to an apostle, Irenaeus was taught that true Christianity was found in the teachings of the apostles passed down through apostolic succession. St. Irenaeus eventually is sent to Lyon in modern-day France, where he engages with heretical groups like the Gnostics. He believed the Gnostics interpreted Scripture to fit their own personal ideas and did so without the tradition of the apostles. He argued that their faith in God was not enough and was incorrect because their beliefs did not line up with the apostolic tradition, something St. Irenaeus calls the rule of faith. A person might believe or even love God, but true Christian faith requires a person to believe certain things about God. St. Irenaeus believed that what made belief in God distinctively Christian was the apostolic teaching that God is Trinitarian, and that without the Trinity, a person could not fully come to know or actually have faith in God. The apostolic understanding of the Trinity reflects the complexity of the Christian experience of God. It is based upon God's revelation through Jesus Christ and His action in the world by the Holy Spirit. St. Irenaeus uses the baptismal formula to demonstrate our Trinitarian faith and how the Holy Trinity actually works in our lives. It is the Father who is over all and bestows on us regeneration through His Son by the Holy Spirit. When we are baptized for the remission of sins, we are renewed toward God. This is accomplished by the operation of the Holy Trinity. It is the Father that grants our regeneration. This is accomplished through the Son, and we are led to the Son by the Holy Spirit. We cannot come to know the Father except through the Son, and without the Holy Spirit, it is not possible to even behold the Son. For St. Irenaeus, this rule of faith must be held without deviation, or truth faith does not exist. It is not enough to simply agree to the idea of God. In order to have true faith, a person must obey, fear, love, and believe the distinctive Christian teaching of the Holy Trinity.